I want more people to hear this music. I want more people to know our story. I've never been to London. You've never been to Spain. I've never been to war. You've never been to prison. Oh, but we've never been the same. So here we are at Panoramic Studios in Stinson Beach, north of San Francisco, California, United States. Built in the 60s. It's full of really beautiful vintage, um, analog vintage uh, re recording gear. Um, and that was something that really attracted us. And it's a real dream come true. And like Brad and I were surfing out there and then we're carrying our boards back from the surf and I'll get onto the beach, look up, and we see this place and we're like, Fuck, man, we're like, we're making music up there. How cool is this? Like, it's a fucking dream. It's the kind of place that, you know, you have abstract dreams that'll be like, wait, where was that? And it's like, gonna be this place, you know? I mean, come on, the view, like a view like that, it, it would never get old. And it always makes you feel the right kind of small and that you're trying to make this big sound and put something out, you know? Chad? I think is kind of like a wild fox and Brad is more like a bald eagle and so it was tricky to get the fox and the eagle in the band together because they were just two different creatures. I really wanted to keep the band together but I know that Chad felt like he wanted to do other stuff, stuff on his own. And so there was just tension from that. I, you know, I just was in such a place where I was like this, we're not, um, even though the crowds were getting bigger and bigger, I was like, we're not a true representation of what we're trying to do. But, you know, like we were like this very honest band with a real connection and I felt like we were going on stage and like kind of faking it. So in 04, when we did our farewell show, where it was like, all right, you guys, we actually really are, we're kind of done. So to be honest, thanks for being the most incredible fans. Here's a big outdoor free show, it'll be a great celebration, but we wouldn't be authentic if we took the stage and did another tour. We'd be faking it in front of you. Our hearts are not feeling it. Here we are thinking, you know, we're playing this last show. It's in Boston, we don't know. You know, Brad was even saying, you know, is it going to be 3,000 people that are going to show up or 50,000? And then it turns out that 100,000 showed up. Well, even the crowd was, was chanting, don't break up. Like several times we were in tears on stage. We played four hours or something. And the crowd a couple times is chanting, don't break up, don't break up. I know people who are like, you guys are fucking idiots. You know, I work in a fucking machine shop all day. You could be, you know, you could be out doing this. I mean, tons of people would say that to us and, and all that, but if you don't have it within each other, then I don't think you have it at all. We, we had this shared, you know, gut instinct and commitment to like doing what we felt was right. Well, I think what we cared about the most was our friendships and the friendships were failing. There are seasons where you just could not stand each other, where you were hurt more by your brothers than anyone else because you let them in so close, where you realize you hurt the two people you love so much, so dearly that you can't even hardly look at yourself in the mirror. You can't believe what you just said or did to your own family. But we took the right breaks to heal up. You can begin. I feel like every record, in a way, starts with like, let's do something new. Yeah. You know. Like, but I think they're really doing. I think a lot of yeah, bands yeah. do talk that talk. Yeah. But I feel like these Doesn't guys. Mean do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I feel like these guys are really going for that. I don't. Th we wouldn't be at a place where we could really trust the collective voice unless we'd gone through 20 years of seeing how destructive it can be when you know your ego or your opinion becomes more important than the rest of the people in the room. I think it just feels like we're back in the saddle again in terms of um, 
kind of being where we want to be artistically and, and, and our hearts are in the right place and we're kind of unified for the first time in a long time, you know? I don't think we've been unified in this way since, you like our, you know, some of our early records. I think with this record, we're experiencing something new is happening that we haven't experienced before. And that is the cool part of Pro. You know, I think that mostly comes from them as far as recreating or sort of like take, you know, having a new start. Um, and we see some of that, I think, just in interpersonal stuff, like just the way they're relating to each other. Yeah. See there's, a, there's a, they seem to have sort of a, a like focus on supporting each other. And, there's a lot of love know. there, yeah. We're probably closer uh more inspired by each other and just feeling more love for each other and more excitement for what's ahead of us than we've felt in our entire career. I mean, we're sort of introducing some new yes. sounds and ideas and stuff that are taking them to some new places, hopefully. When I first sent the first batch of songs to our managers, they one of the managers said to me, they were like, so let me get this straight. Do you not like your old songs? We did have a sit down where Chad kind of said, and we may have touched upon this, that guys, I'd kind of like to be the captain on this next ride. And we're like, right on. You, you're, you're really serious about this. So we want to be serious to back you up. And that has been a, a new thing. These songs, uh, you know, are about uh, veterans coming home, uh, childhood memories, uh, being a, a parent myself. I just hope that our old fans and our new fans are like, this is art. Like, it's, it's art. It's, it's going somewhere and it's trying to say something. I think some people have a preconceived notion of what Dispatch is or sounds like. This record may not fall into that. I think we, as sort of trying to guide the ship a little bit, have... Simplifying, really, simplifying in a lot of ways. Stuff. Yeah, and not, not without taking energy or any of that, you know, just uh, taking that away. But, um, yeah, I think like boiling trying to make down. a more focused record, yeah, really boil it down. That's the difference. It's not as convoluted. It's not as dispersed, it's laser beam. I think now this is when we were like, oh, you know, we're all in. Like we really feel the full commitment and as much time as it takes, as much energy as we pour into it, like, come on, let's go the full distance. I wanna reference a song and maybe you guys can even play it like on this video. Blind Gary Davis. You guys heard of him? Hallelujah. Ha I belong to the band. Hallelujah. I belong to the band. And that is what keeps me in it, what kept me in it, what wants me to be in it, is to belong to the band. So we've just been, I think maybe for the first time in our career, taking this process so seriously and not fucking around and just being... Ooh.